Welcome back to the Hunter Baby Challenge part 50. And in this episode, well, I want, first I want to tell you why I didn't add commentary to the last one. Because of kind of. I got halfway through it, messed up. And while I was halfway through, I'm like, I'm not going for the other half again. No way, no way I'm starting over. So I decided I'm not starting over. I'm hard halfway through. I'm just going to do what I do with some of my, most of my Bills videos. Not that commentary. <laughs> and explain the description what happened, you know. You know, in the last episode, um. Uh, Zev goes to a flea market and tries to hook up with Priest, but he turns her down. And she gives birth to Hexus and Isaac and hooks up with the next baby daddy. Also, um, Facing Grace also aged up. So, that's what happened in the last episode. She didn't quite understand what was going on. Um... So in this episode, Zev is helping her kids with her homework. What, Zoe? Get something, Zoe. Go get your lunch, Zoe. It's in the microwave, Zoe. Punch me in the arm. But still. If I was a bit scratchy, just because I... I know it's 11.30 in the morning and I just woke up. Just got my lunch. And I just woke up. I woke up a few minutes ago. Then got lunch. That's why my voice sounds a bit scratchy. What do you want, Zoe? Shao! I thought you would want to eat and watch TV, not eat and watch me do commentary. I got me a bowl of tomato soup. Pretty good. Crackers. Because first I thought it was... Um, no, tomato and no. it's tomato and crackers. I like crackers in my tomato soup. No, I'll just get like I'm having lunch now because after at the birthday party, you're gonna be eating pizza for dinner. Yeah. I got a question to anyone who's watched my previous videos and there was a train that went by. Is it louder now or louder in like say like the first year some in the in the first generation, you know, when I was when I did have the computer in the other room. Is the train louder then or louder now? Or do you even notice a difference? <laughs> hey Zoe, when you're in here, is, or when you're mostly back there, is the train louder back there or, or in here in the living room? Back there. <laughs> That's good for me when I make videos. I have to train it not that loud. I just mean the train goes by, but I don't think I hear it as much as being in here in my new office. I like these little kids' tables, little craft tables. It helps the kids develop their skills. That's why I got it. Another way, I did it for the kids. You no, know, kids need a way to develop their skills. And they got these void creator things, because 
You know, I wanted to try it, see what those were like. I like tomato soup. Just not as much as I like it. There's no chili for that one. I already had potato soup yesterday. I didn't want potato soup twice in, one, twice in a row. We want out. We want Alex. Just come by for a nightcap. Hi. Bye. Go home. <laughs> We're gonna sell some of these toys for money. No. Oh, seriously, he doesn't need it. Wait, one, Alex. Go home. You have a new home. Go to it. Uh, He's not homeless. I give all my sins that move out. I give them well, a home with them. In this game, I don't know who is playing with me. A robot or a real person? Mostly a robot, Zoe. Um, every time I move a sim out, ever since the first generation, they're not homeless. I mean, I use the free real estate cheat to give him a house all the living. I mean, come on. Now, they're not homeless. So, I don't know why they're coming by. In the middle of the freaking night. Why are you coming by in the middle of the night? Go away. And look, a vampire. A vampire. Why don't you have garlic? Because I didn't think about it at this point. When I was pre-recording, I didn't think. Because there is garlic in this game. I know that. Let's take care of these babies. Oxus and Isaac. Not yet. Who is that age up? Anybody? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, oh, maybe these kids oh. do, these babies do age up by the end of the episode. <laughs> so I skip by, I skip by oh. at least a few days. I think. Sometimes I'm skipping through, yeah. Skipping through the days, you know. Fast forward. I don't record every single thing my Sims do. 
Well, at the very beginning, sure, but... Why? This is the, this is his, her baby child, it's not the Truman Show. I have to record everything my son is doing. <laughs> Mostly the whole time this chair, the robot was ducking the whole time. <laughs> And I, and I and I was ducking with him, and I and I and I killed him mm -hmm. easy. Mm -hmm. I'm doing the same strategy again. Okay. I'm winning every time. Every time I duck. That's what I mean by fast forwarding. Stressful day at school. Who cares? I really don't. I hate when kids get, and teenagers get too stressed or too tense to do their homework. Oh, that bothers me so much. It's annoying. Yeah, play a video game. Get, get a video game skill up. That'd be great. Hey Zoe, in the um, third generation, guess what show they don't watch that much? The kid show? Yeah. You're right! <laughs> you hardly even notice. So I hate that. Are you watching this show? <laughs> but. That's right, we got a birthday party here. We got a birthday party. Yeah, we gotta leave at 3 o'clock. Because it starts at 3.30. That's hey, late, dude. That is a late party. Never had a birthday party so late. Okay, let's, okay. The invite. It's time for, um... These two little kids to age up. Now let's get a cake out and an entree. See yourself. Fish dinner. Okay, fish dinner. It's age up. Because they got A's. They're going to graduate from grade school to high school. So is anyone going to blow out their dang candles? Damon? You going to blow out your candles? They're aging up first because they got A's. All right, add the next birthday candles so your brother can age up. Taking so long for Ethan to blow his dang candles. Where the heck is Ethan? Where is Ethan? 
Ethan, where are you? Taking so long. Everybody's waiting on you so they can eat. Computer whiz and dance machine. Cool. N notice how he went from a redhead to a brunette. That is so weird. And you're texting on your phone already. You know, it's a dame how Ethan went from a redhead to a brunette <laughs> as he aged up. What's a brunette? Brown hair. Like dark brown hair. Sophia, I hate her. Birthday parties are fun. I like doing the birthday parties in this game. Prince made it fun last time when I was doing the Super Sun Challenge. It was frustrating, but it was fun too. I should really get on the Super Sun Challenge. I'm sure there's a lot of people that did watch it and they miss it. I get to it eventually. I, I just want to complete the 100 baby challenge here. If I get done pre recording it, if I get done, get done pre recording the last of it, I can get back and focus on the trying to finish the Super Sam challenge. Maybe get a couple episodes out of that, you know? I don't know. All that waiting for a couple episodes. <laughs> I don't know how long it's going to take. I really don't. A hundred videos. A hundred videos equals a hundred babies. <laughs> So, what else is there to freaking talk about? Just some punch, drinking my tea. He was like, I'm going to have to go out and get some supplies because I'm not, I sent Frank out twice yesterday. Well, technically once because he was already out the first time. He was out for hours. Hours. And it's like, why? You're out. Get a few things. Like four things. Four. And then the second time, and he comes back, he didn't bring back anything. 
And then the second time I brought him, to sent him out, he was going out, I sent him out with a list. A list! And he comes back late with nothing. And so I go, oh. It took him six hours to get out there. More than that, because he went out twice. First time he went out to Albany, and the second time he went out to Pittsfield. And I'm like, well, why didn't you bring back anything? How are you busy? Busy? Frank, I sent you out there to get groceries, not do a, not do a service call. I mean, really. I sent him out with a list. A list. If you think about he has to get money before he has to get groceries. He already had money. He just got it. He sent some money out. Because they said, oh, we're heading out. Okay, Frank, I'll make you a lens. Okay, thank you. Give him the lens. He leaves. Comes back with nothing. Hours later. Oh, I did give him a lens. I gave him a lens. And I called him back just so he could add the add bread. And because there was already some uh, water and no, I had five 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 around five six things on there. Tea, milk, water, like a bottle of water. Just one bottle of oatmeal, TV dinners. And then I called him back to tell him that I had bread to that. And so, he goes back with nothing. He told me in Pittsfield, Massachusetts, and in Albany, he was nowhere near a grocery store. I swear. What kind of magnet is this without anything on it? Zoe, it did... It's the back of this notepad. It fell off. Oh, cool. it, it had the magnet on the back of this notepad so you could stick it on the fridge. It's meant to be like a grocery list. Or a list of things to do. It's a to-do list. And it has your, it, it has your first initial on it. I know that. It says K on top. Carrie. It's something that Bonnie gave me. What is Kimberly to you? My niece. Uh-huh. Oh. Monday, I got mail on her birthday card. And you know what? I have no stamps. So, if you suck, I can't afford stamps. I can't afford groceries. Please donate to us. No. You don't need that. Frank's got the money. I have to ask him. I'm not gonna ask my mother-in-law for money. I'd rather ask Frank. I'm tired of these vampires who show up late at my freaking doorstep. It's annoying. I saw one went right by. Outside. Yeah, kids go outside. He's like, hey, Mr. Vampire. What's up? I think vampires are attracted to my place because all these kids mean all that young. Young fresh blood they got they can have. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're attracted to the to the scent of how much blood is in my house. How many people are in my house and how much blood they can drink. I think that's what they're attracted to. Mm, I smell fresh blood. Look at all them kids. <laughs> Look at all them people. Look at all that blood. Yeah. <laughs> and he's right there attracted to it. Because seriously, what else? I don't have... In the fact, I use a, a vampire... This is the fact I'm using a chairs from the vampire 
for the vampire pack, the chairs, is because I'm doing using those. It's because I'm using vampire furniture, like the chair, like the dining room chairs. Is that why vampires are attracted to my house? That's insane, and that's stupid. Love slave. What is it? Rest your career. How to be a love slave. <laughs> yeah. How to be a love slave. What's a love slave? Slave. So you love someone so much they're like a slave? Something like that. It's a sad title for this video. But the thing is about this video, the title of the video, happens like at the last set, the last scene of this, of this episode. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. Why would name this episode after the last scene in this episode? I'm not aging them up. I'm not aging these babies up this episode. My next episode, but not this episode. Those babies are so cute. How are they cute when they they're babies? But they all look the same. So they're still cute. They look the same. Oh, Oh, I found Thor's hammer in this game. Well, good for you. It's wonderful. I don't know what this thing is called, Battle Blade. I don't know. I don't play it. I don't know. It's it's the third one because I don't want to fight that much. Yeah. Because this is also a fighting game. Oh, good. Zev gets invited out by Stan. Stan is asking Zev out on a date, and guess what? He disappears. He stood her up. Oh, no. Stan asked Zeb. After all the love letters, Zeb was sending to Stan. Stan finally asked her out on a date. Zeb goes, and Stan stands her up. What's that mean? You go, you go to a date expecting for someone to show up, and they don't, and they never show up. It's getting, getting called stood up. You're expecting to meet someone and never show up. Um, so, yeah. Zeb's, Zeb's upset now. Yeah, she's going to take her revenge out on him. <laughs> because he stood her up. <laughs> that little turd. He's going to get it. He's going to get it. I'm not lying. He's got uh, it. That is it. I, I had it with Stan. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hurt him. Even gonna hurt the real life one. No. No. Zeb is just gonna go over his house and try to prank him. That's it. Maybe even write a bad book. Maybe even write a bad book about him. Yeah. Just trashing his name. Oh. Trashing his name and trashing his house. This game is called Infinity Blade. Yeah. Zeb is just gonna go over Stan's house. Trash his name and trash it. Just, just trash his house or something. Just, just prank him, you know. Because that's what Stan deserves right now. Anyways, this is the end of this episode. So stay tuned for part 51. <laughs> like and subscribe if you ever want to see more content. content.